Hello, my name is Yusef Morini, and today I will show you how to upgrade your Hive Metastore table to Unity Catalog. Remember, in my two previous video, I did show you how to set up Unity Catalog and how to synchronize your users using Scheme. So today I will show you how to upgrade your tables. And to do so, we will use a command called sync that has been developed by Databricks, as you can see in uh, in this article that I will uh, that I will share with you as well. And to do so, the first step is really to go and uh, set up your external location where you are storing your your tables as an external location over here so i will go to data and then i'll go to external location i'll create my location i'll call it like external then over here i'll look for my from where the data is coming like where where this external uh, look, uh, data resides so for my case it's in abf uh, oh. So my container is called external. And this is my ADLS chain two, TFS. Of course, I already defined my manage identity and I'll create this external location. Of course, let's just do a test. It works. I will branch my self the permissions or privileges privileges and now i'll go back to my uh, my notebook so i will use the catalog hive meta store where i have the where i have my legacy tables so i will uh, show you all the schemas i have there so i have the crypto the football leagues and fujik so i'm a football fan so what I will do, I will just use like uh, football leagues and I will run it describe extended to show you where the data resides and of course the, the schema and everything you need to know. So you see the catalog is high meta store, uh, external provider that of course we can migrate all the tables like uh, Delta, Parquet and so on. So the first thing I will do is really create the catalog and create a schema. So for my case, I called my catalog upgrade and then I created a schema called football leagues. So I wanted to keep you know the same schema in uh, the same uh, schema name in Hive and Unity. So I called it food, football leagues as uh, as I had uh, in Hive Metastore. And now what I will do, I will run the sync. So and of course I can sync a schema including which includes all the tables that you have inside the schema from Hive to Unity. And to do so, you just need to write sync schema. Of course, the destination, which is my catalog database from the source, which is Hive Meta Store, Football Leagues, and I add the dry run. So the dry run will tell me whether it will be a successful or there will be an issue. So here I had this dry run uh, success, which means if I if I uh, if I remove the dry run, that will upgrade my my table. And of course, I can have several uh, several codes. So you can see over here, dry run success, DFS root location, external table is managed location, Hive search. So we have a bunch of errors and how you, you can think about solving uh, this issue. So over here, I will just remove the dry run, sync in tables. And it's loading. <clears throat> in the meantime, remember I had also a database called crypto. So you see everything uh, is good. So if I go now to this data explorer, I go to Upgrade. I have the football leagues, of course. I have the, the Moroccan players external and the statistics external that were moved. Of course, you can see here the owner, and by default, 
the person who will run the sync command will be the owner uh, of this uh, those tables. But you can also grant, like, uh, set the ownership to another to another person uh, if you want. So in the second step, I will also like create the schema called crypto. And what I will do over here, I will sync the scheme. And here I have an issue. You see, I have this called DB, DF, DBFS root location. It tells me that this is a managed uh, high meta store, which means the manage when, when the table is managed within high meta store, it's not supported. And how you can do this? So you will, if it's a Delta table, you can use this like uh, deep clone. So I created a BT, B, uh, Bitcoin USD UC and I deep clone the BTC USD, this one. And if I run this command, you will see that would work. And now you, this is how you can migrate your managed uh, high meta store table. And of course, if I run again this, uh, this, uh, this scheme, <clears throat> I will migrate the other table without uh, without an issue. So the status cost is a success. So if I go to data explorer, crypto, I I have this BT uh, sorry this uh, BTC USD uh, external that was created, and of course if I go to the uh, okay, I I did a small. If I run this uh, this command, it will migrate the managed uh, the managed table. And if it's parquet, you can use this set as which is create table BTUSD as and select star from have meta store and you select the table. If I go now to crypto, you see that my my BTC USD UC has been Created. But of course, you can also sync uh, a table. And that's what I did over here. I, uh, I'm creating a schema called Futix. Then I would use this Futix. And here you see I have an issue because tell me, like, you should have the same name of the table. And yes, so when you sync <coughs> uh, your, your upgrade, your tables from the high meta store to Unity Catalog, they should keep the same name. So here I wanted to create Euro Football while I should have added this euro underscore football. And again, here, I'm just, <clears throat> okay. Uh, here, I just need to like upgrade. And here I'm specifying sync table instead of sync schema. Same thing, it says, okay, there is no issue over here. So I can just remove the dry run and run this command. And again, if I go here, I have food cheeks that has been created. Of course, I have, uh, I have everything I need. And now, of course, you can still go and query your Hive uh, meta store, uh, your Hive meta store table. You can still do it, but once you complete the migration, if you want, you can go and of course delete your uh, your Hive meta store table, and then you will keep only, of course, the uh, the Unity catalog. <coughs> and now that you have created your tables, you can go and, for example grant permissions to a specific, for example, I will grant permissions to Ali Azuz, who's my colleague. Like I will grant him, like for example, the select, I will grant the other permissions. And from now, you can benefit from the UC uh, features while keeping your tables in the same location where they were. Just keep in mind, it should be an ADLS Gen 2. Thank you for uh, watching this video and see you soon.